What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Lord Williamson, coming back to you with another one. And in this episode, I'm just going to talk about a few things that you can expect when it comes to nightlife in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. So just like any other big city, Santo Domingo has different places you can go to experience different vibes when it comes to nightlife. We're going to start off this episode in Santo Domingo's most popular neighborhood, Zona Colonial. We are in Zona Colonial, one of the places where you got to check out if you come to Santo Domingo. Uh, they got bars, clubs, restaurants. They got everything you need. We're about to go to Ono Lounge or Ono Bar, and we're going to check it out, man. See if we can get into something. Because I had time like I'm on my tiptoes. Baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it. Split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. You see all the bread, and I know it make you wonder, don't you, don't you, don't you? Ooh. I ain't surprised at all. Seen them rise and fall. Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. I finally got some peace. Carry on, but please don't mess up the mood. Yeah, I went too hard for it. No, I need it, beat it, but you mess up the mood. My name is Andres, I'm from Washington DC, I'm from Washington but I live here right now, and you know, in San Domingo. 3.15 in the morning, yep. but the party don't stop. We're going to another after hour spot, uh, we're going to have a good time. Vamos. My boy Ethan from Miami. What's good? We got Chelsea. What's up? What's up? I'm Dominican, I'm Latina, I'm not American, but what's up? Okay. So when I met Chelsea, I did not know that her and her mother were actresses on a movie that was recently released. And Chelsea is also a huge artist out of the Dominican Republic, born and raised. So I thought that was pretty cool because you don't always go to different countries and meet famous or influential people from that country. The reason I like Zona Colonial is because you can go out by yourself and have a good time. But say you're with some friends and you want to go turn up, there's plenty of places you can go in Santo Domingo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so. <laughs> When it comes to clubs in Santo Domingo, Mixer Bar and Lounge is definitely my favorite. They have food, drinks, and live entertainment. Not to mention the club is built so dope you have to see it. This place is for you and your friends if you want to go smoke some hookah or pop some bottles. The best day to go is on Mixer Mondays, but this place is popping Fridays and Saturdays too. And when I tell you they put on a show, they put on a show. Here we go. Right now we're outside Paris Lounge. And as you can see, they got the Eiffel Tower out here, man. Mixer Bar and Lounge is definitely a lit spot, but say you want to tone it down a little bit, you know, take your shorty out to dinner, show you a change man, or you want to double date with your homie because he got a shorty that y'all supposed to be linking with, you feel me? You need to come here. You need to come to Paris Lounge, or you need to come to Sparta Lounge. These places are real chill, but they can get packed pretty quick. Now, if you're looking for something to do during the day, you definitely got to check out Vent Lounge. Today, we are in Santo Domingo with it. We are gonna check out this rooftop pool. I heard it has good vibes. My boy told me to come check it out, man. So uh, we're gonna see what it's looking like right now. Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never lack those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my back. Press the subscribe button. All I really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chaser. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for no day. One, too many, I'm going. Two, too crazy, and I got three. bad ones, and they ready. Four. A good time, so now it's in new it. We left the hash. Can't remember anything, but I know we got lit. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so this next type of spot I'm going to recommend, make sure you do it at your own risk. Me personally, anytime I go to a spot like this, I got to have a hood pass. And for the viewers at home who don't know what a hood pass is. Hood pass is permission to move in and around the hood. Now, a hood pass isn't something you get off of Expedia, okay, fellas? When I say hood pass, I mean, make sure you go with somebody who's from there, who's lived there for a long time, who knows people there. It's just safer that way. The reason I love going to the hood to party is because you get an authentic experience, man. The food is better, the drinks are cheaper, and you're just around so much love, you can really tell that they have pride in where they come from. Oh, 
This is actually a city called Haina, which is a little bit outside Santo Domingo, but my homegirl took me all through the hood, man. It was a dope experience. I also have a vlog on this one. Um, I'll put it in the description. You got to check that out. Once again, I want to express the importance of that hood pass. Number one, it's better for you to go with somebody who's actually from there because you'll just have a better time. But number two, and most importantly, it's safer for your health and well-being. We're outside. Name a place I won't go. All right, man, so we're back out in Zona Colonial. Uh, as you can see, it's always busy. This is one of those spots you definitely gotta come to whenever you stop in Santo Domingo. I'm out here with my guy again. Hey, what's up, man? Dre the A. Yeah, man, so where are we going, to, uh, where are we going today? We're going to Bon J right there. Bon J. concert, outdoor Tadeo, real cool. A lot of live music, a lot of people, a lot of beer, a lot of drinks. Just a good time in San Domingo, man. Cool, 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 man. So the reason I like things like Bonjay is because it really shows the Dominican culture. In every one of the places I've been to, they have their own version of Bonjay. It's just in a different country. <laughs> Bonjay is something they do every week. I can't remember if it's on a Sunday or Monday, but it's pretty lit, man. Have some good drinks, it's a good vibe, and it's good, wholesome fun. Santo Domingo is a huge city. There are so many places I didn't cover, but that's the good thing about traveling. You get to get out there and make your own experiences. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. We got new videos every week. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Peace.